Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here and welcome back to another episode of 40k Mechanicals! Righty, uh, we are at 55% awakening right now. Let's check out what kind of missions we can do. So, Agrolake, we have Lock and Key and we have the Charnel Pit. Um, then here we have purification and the logic of sacrifice. The logic of sacrifice would be cool, but it's a hard mission with our most hated enemy types in it. Um, then we have containment here in the Ubshaw sector. Carrion crew, which would net us a better axe, technically. And then obviously there's the corrupt king. Which I would like to find out a few more things about him first before we battle him. I kind of have the feeling since last time we ran into such a freaking absolute wall. <laughs> um, I kind of want to do this right now. I'm not saying these are that much easier, but we'll try. So let's get our priests on. Let's get a good selection of Skitari on. And let's go. Magos, I bring news of progress. The heretics have seized one of the starboard gun decks. You state this as if it is a cause of celebration. It means we have forced them out into the open. Now they present themselves as a target. We can finally strike back at them. If they succeed in taking control of the starboard guns, the heretics can cripple the ship. I permit myself a sense of consternation at this possibility. It will not come to that, Magos. We shall purge the heretics with steel and radiation. With radiation? That's... That's, uh, that's cool. Not all these fire and steel, but, you know... Radiation and steel is also good. Error. Confusion stack overflow. Purpose of heretic activity equal uncertain. They are desperate. They are compelled to strike a meaningful blow before they are rooted out. Logic equals no. Reference epsilon stomach yoth. No action without purpose. No risk without certainty of reward. Heretics are pawns to be sacrificed. If they are to be sacrificed, it will be on the altar of the Omnissiah's justice. Whatever their purpose, they cannot be allowed to achieve it. We dispatch the cohort immediately. Mission parameters are to breach and sanitize. All right, the heretics are using corrupted servitors to act the controls of one of the dex cannons. If they gain control, um, the cannon's enormous destructive power could be turned against the Sestus Metallican. Kill them all. Eliminate the servitors being used to hack or... Well, cut the power to our own cannon? Seems like that's what they want. Technological intervention. We'll stop the hacking. Strategy equals sound. Heretic objectives does not equal survival. Killing equals irrelevant. Technology integrity must be preserved. Target the servitors. Keep the cannon offline. Alright. The layout of the gun deck suggests a number of possible approaches. Cunning Gambit, flank the heretics and strike them from an unexpected angle, advance steadily on the enemies to maximize firepower, or rush the deck to give the heretics little time as possible. Slow and purposeful, I think that's what we do best, honestly. We have the advantage of discipline and firepower. I would see it used to its maximum. Advance steadily and keep up fire on the enemy. As at the Starfallen Plateau, Magos, a relentless advance gives an ill-prepared foe. We cannot assume they are ill-prepared. 
This Epsilus seems to have been no fool, so neither will his followers. Wise men and fool are both alike beneath the barrel of a gun. All right. Last choice, I suppose. Taking the gun deck has left some heretic casualties near the entrance to the deck, while other elements of the surroundings may provide an over opportunity of, of advantage. Eavesdrop. Uh, search one of the dead heretics, or... <laughs> that sounds cool. Bring down the bridge and crush a few. Admirable combat efficiency, Magos. One shot is converted into many deaths. Take care you rebel not greatly in the deaths of those who were once our own. Those born to our enmity are one thing. Those who choose it are another. There can be nothing but death and damnation for them. Those will be provided to them. Open fire. Okay, we killed two servitors, I think that is. Which is good. Less pressure in on, on us on melee. Alright, so we have destroyed targets. We'll advance from here. We have two of their servitors right on us. But the main target is this guy. The uh, Xenorite servitor. There's tech priests, tech priests, tech... Ooh, there's a tech priest with flamers. Or at least one flamer. Okay. Okay, okay. So, I will have um, him at the forefront here. Leonardus will be here. Actually, Leonardus will be over here. You're gonna be here. And you are gonna be here. You're gonna slap this guy probably and then advance. This guy moves first. Okay. We have to be a bit cautious of these tech priests. Because they do deal a lot of damage as we found out last time right okay let's see we can get cognition points where there's just oh, okay there's a few points actually so there's a point there let's see this guy is the next one to uh do anything right So what I could do is I could bless, no, not bless, uh, Cognition Freedom. Then we'll blast him. He's gone. That takes a little bit of pressure off of us, which is nice. And then we'll try to deal some damage here. Also getting, getting our weapon up to the machine spirit level we need and then just advance with him okay solid sprint on this guy he's really far away these two are extremely far away but i i'm kind of afraid of the guy with the flamer oh he is a flamer too actually all right cool he gives us one cognition then um we'll collect all cognition from over yonder that's tasty. And since that one guy is already toast, uh, we'll advance here and abuse him to gain more cognition now. As much as we can, actually. And then use one cognition to slap him into next Tuesday. And there we go. And now we'll just advance once for now, because we don't have any weapons anyway to use. All right, there we gonna sprint. That's a tech priest. Actually, they look different. These tech priests. That's kind of interesting. Oh, he can take cognition. I wonder if he just consumes it or if he actually uses it. I'm gonna delay my turn just in case. I just want to see what they do. If I can actually do anything with my good old Leonardus. I kind of doubt it. Um, and I have to kind of make sure that the next text priest whose turn it is, it's this guy. He's gonna get quite close, I think. So I'm not sure I wanna, you know, close the gap so much. Maybe close the gap to him. That would be interesting, I suppose. 
But for that, I would have to use at least like two cognition points, which is a bit much. So I'm gonna use one cognition point right now. And then I'm actually gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal some stats here. Okay, he has two physical armor, eleven health. That's something I can deal with. I, nothing is in range yet though, so let's see. We're not gonna drop uh, troops yet. Oh, oh, that's the main deck. Oh, they uh, they are huge. I love it. The freaking scale, man. Um, I think next time on the, our next advance, we're gonna drop some troops, potentially. He's gonna sprint, closing the gap. Okay, nice. And then you, my friend. Oh, can I not shoot? Oh, I cannot shoot at this guy, I see. So I will create a little bit of a white berth here. So this guy might not get into melee with me and strike, hopefully. And then let's just go for the Phosphor Blaster first, just to see how tough this guy is. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, when it's when is it his turn? I think it's... Or did he already have his turn? Kind of difficult to tell. Um, I mean, I'm gonna make sure he's dead. But uh, I'm not gonna use the uh, energy up. Because that just doesn't make any sense right now. Okay, cool. One more dead. There's another melee coming in here that is right now not able to being hit. Oh, I wonder if this guy is not able to being hit. Oh yeah, totally. Well. Then I guess we'll just advance. And I might use... Mm, do we want to use Spotlight? I might be tempted to. Yeah, let's do. Let's use our spotlight to attract all kinds of enemy fire. If I use that together with my other benediction, I can give him about seven armor each. That's insane. But these guys, they don't come out of their shroud yet. That's a bit awkward. Ooh, took two cognition points. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna delay his turn because there's nothing he can shoot at at the moment. Maybe. Well, no, he's not gonna get too close either. That's a bit of an awkward thing. Fine. I'm a bit starved for cognition right now, but we can technically deal with this in other fashion. Ah, uh, these guys with their shrouds are really annoying. They They definitely are. Gonna delay my turn. I thought he had uh, um, aggro from everybody. What am I? You know, what can I do with these guys? That's my question right now. Because at the moment, I cannot strike them, I can do nothing. What I can do is I can walk up to this guy and slap him into into the stone age but this guy this over here this situation that concerns me a bit honestly but i guess getting rid of another tech priest is probably a good idea huh that's nice and we're gonna use let's see 11 to 13 damage um i'm gonna use the canticle here because this should make sure that he's dead or it's it's very well kind of likely let's see yeah awesome keeps us at high cognition too okay now he has struck me now it should be out of his stupid shadow form right but dodging 100 of his shots that's oh god okay two damage well if he doesn't crit then it's not that bad but when he crits it's awkward I guess I'll have to kind of bait out their melee attacks, I suppose, but it's not its not pretty, but we'll have to do it, I suppose. 
Okay, and we can kind of counter mend this at this point. Oh. Um, red, let's move to here for now. Then blast. I might actually change out that 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 pistol, that um, arc pistol that I have, because in so many cases it's actually detrimental. Well, to be fair, it causes not enough damage for me to be relevant. I could use it. Oh, well, let's go. Whatever. It's at least a little bit of damage, I suppose. And then I'm gonna stand next to him. Gonna use more points. Crit? But not sure how much damage. Okay. And then I'm gonna slap him away. Oh, I thought I killed him there for a second. Okay. And now... We're gonna heal ourselves because we took quite a, a bit of damage. But we're also... Gonna heal our friend over here. 7 to 9 repair. Yes, that's what we like to see. Awesome. He's back up to good health. He's gonna sprint. It's really unfortunate I cannot hit this guy away. That's kind of awkward. So I'll have to suffer an opportunity attack here. I wonder if that takes him out of his shroud. Because it critted me. You know what I mean? Yeah, it actually does. Okay, interesting. Um, since I don't have my um, Cognition Freedom ready. I want to reveal his stats. Okay, he's on 9 still. Gonna move here. Gonna use this. Oh, shit. He's touching me. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna pull back a little bit here. I'm gonna keep it this way. Yeah, I'm, ah, I forgot to heal his asset. It's gonna plague him for another turn. Okay, I might drop a servitor here. Basically to protect him from any melee attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a servitor. And we still have the canticle for... Um, Okay, so we have to keep that in mind. That's awkward. And he's gonna take some damage, but we can heal ourselves quite easily. And the acid is basically getting counteracted by... Uh, um, by our auto repair, essentially. So he's still dodging 100% of my attacks? That's so annoying. Really, man, that's... That's super annoying. Okay, let's do Cognition Freedom, and then we can choose... Who are we gonna blast? He didn't have his turn... Oh, wait, he... Yeah, he didn't have his turn yet. He's coming very much at the end. And now we get to decide who dies. I think it should be him, because he's gonna have the next turn. Oh, but, yeah, I'm an idiot. He's still dodging my stuff. Ah, Very bad at remembering. And I should have maybe walked back a bit as well. Yeah, Leonardo's will have to heal himself quite a bit. Yeah, that's awkward. Okay, so who's who's the next few who are gonna have a turn? Him? We'll have to take him out. He's no danger. He might be a danger. The servitor might be a danger. Um, we're gonna walk right into here. Oh, wait. We cannot just walk into there because... Wait, who's that? Yeah, this one. Okay, we just can't take out this guy because we don't have our cognition spikes ready yet. So we'll walk just here and uh, make sure he doesn't make it out alive. There we go. Okay. We might. It might be time. It might be time for. Uh... Oh, this. Okay, dude. Well, at least we got a cognition. 
which technically would allow us hmm let me think about this we could get all hp back on every character that that actually is like a good idea right now all tech priests restore there we go and then you know what i'm gonna go to bless him of the omnicide because i want to do some stuff right now right and we're gonna what he's dodging too i thought it was this guy That's weird. Okay. Oh, it's both of them. Ugh. Okay. Um, but I'm also gonna cleanse him of the acid. I think that's a good idea. Acid damage, but also healing. He's gonna get close to somebody. All right. You do you. Gonna try and finish off this guy. Boom! Oh, too bad. I'm also gonna shout so they target me. Because he's a brave boy. And then actually he gets his turn again as well. So he might just take him out. Um, let's drop... Let's drop a... Let's drop a van. No, let's drop a ranger. Let's go. All right, machine spirits, goodbye. And then move into here, just in case he wants to run away. All right, and you, my good friend. Gonna take, wait, where are we gonna take? Uh, doesn't matter, we're taking a cognition point from here. Cause I wanna blast this fool over here. That's his job right now. Here we should get everything. Alright, let's test the waters real quick and see how much uh, armor he has. Ooh, not enough. Well, that was a crit as well. Not even using the energy. Uh. <laughs> get wrecked. That one is done for. Good. Yeah, that's fine. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Um, now you are gonna become my cognition farm. It's lovely. Uh, sure. That's good enough. Kill all enemies. Well, we had that in mind anyway. In case you couldn't tell. I know it's a bit overkill, but we, we want to get this, and then I'm going to reveal his stats, just so we know. 1-1. One, one. Easy. Easy peasy. I think we can do this next turn, even. <laughs> or this turn, if he gets too close. Probably not, though. Okay. Is he still dodging all of our shit? No, he's not. So, get away. I know I don't do damage. Doesn't matter. Uh... Let's see. Well, that's gonna do some damage, my friend. Phew. Good. Uh, he has a lot of energy armor, so this is not gonna do much. But I think I'm just gonna close the gap again and smack him. I just wanna make sure that I can kill him next turn with a simple shot of my pistol. Should be doable, even with the energy armor. And then we can get the cognition point as well here, and we're done. Should be enough to, to take out the other guy, I think. And we- oh, wait, we have the Skitari Ranger still. He might be able to do it. Maybe, if we're really lucky. Oh no, he, he doesn't. He just- oh, well. You tried, man. You tried. <laughs> Okay, we're not gonna drop any more Skitari. Uh, let's see, from here we should be able to reach both of these guys, right? So, one shot to the back. And then... 
Uh, we don't have the... Unfortunately, we don't have Cognition Freedom, so it's only one of these. But we have the Benediction of, the, of Omniscience. So... That should be enough. <laughs> Two. <laughs> nice. Okay, that was good. I think we cleansed the area of heretics successfully. Most excellent. The deck gun. The deck. The deck gun. The deck gun is taken back into the position of the Adeptus Mechanicus forces, and the heretics forced to fall back from the gun decks. Good. Oh. Wow, look at this dude! Magos Faustinius, you have proven yourself resolutely opposed to the realization of my philosophy. We cannot continue to exist so violently opposed. Something, as they say, must give. I take it I'm speaking with Epsilus Damek Yoff. You do not express alarm. The functions of my biological brain generate surprise. I choose not to experience it. Then our negotiations can commence without emotive interference. This is good. What negotiations? I know you are an arc heretic, and your followers have slain my tech priests. There can be no outcome save the destruction of you and your heretics. I shall give you one chance, Magos Faustinius. The Necrons of Silver Tenebris are in the possession of technology far beyond our current state of development. Grant me command of your mission, the Possessus Metallicum, and the followers of the Cenerite Creed will acquire this technology for the use of all mankind. I cannot allow that, Epsilus. The Cenerite heresy is a disease. It takes the corruption of the enemy's works and spreads them throughout the Adeptus Mechanicus. What lies on Silver Tenebris is too dangerous to fall into the possession of your kind. Then my kind will take it by force. I have Xenorites all over the ship ready to seize its command and control systems. Acquiesce to my demands, and you and those who remain loyal can live. And if I do not, you will die. Dead Megos Epsilos, we will die. We can shame Faustus, but not an unexpected one. Magos, the ship's communications are compromised. Something is broadcasting from within the ship. We must... I know, Sub-Tribune. It was Epsilus. They spoke to me. What did they say? That they are insane. They are on the ship. And that we have a chance to kill them. Well, you can see it like that, I suppose. All right, yeah, that was actually an easy enough mission for all it's worth, right? I don't think we get enough Blackstone for an upgrade, but, you know, we might get... Oh, well, we get a Phosphor Blaster, which is kind of cool. Hmm, it's pretty cool, actually. I might use that on someone. We'll see. Okay, ah, uh, we might have enough for one update. Um, wait, he is on... Let's see, he's on... on where's the level? 15? Oh yeah, he's on 17, that's right. Let's upgrade you. So, next is React... 
refractor field generators gain one, minus one cooldown. The thing is, that's also something I don't want. Then cast the canticle for free is cool. But not mm, the most necessary thing. Let's see if we can spec into one of the other trees, perhaps, which gives us something. I mean, um, reveals enemy statistic in melee range is not that good. Escape would be cool for him. Um, boss, um, you know, um, buffing troops. Gain one cognition point at the beginning of the unit's turn if the gauge is empty. I don't know if it makes sense to have this when there's several on several people, but you know. Yeah, but then again, getting that later on is also very much worth it. Cleansing anointments. I mean, the thing is, that's just a free thing we can use. That might be interesting enough. And then, of course, the Cellus Metal. Corrupted technology. That would also work. I would say. The thing is, with crit, he gets... Uh, plus crit chance but then the most the refractors give you if i'm not mistaken we'll have to check his upgrades real quick um where is he no not jeremiah you um th these things right no oh refractor oh the, the, these are i thought it was these things the occult occultaris because these give crit chance you know which i'm actually kind of toying with because you know, getting plus four damage is good, but it costs f um, two cognition points to do. And often enough, if we really want to kill something, then the uh, the canticle is actually the way to go. So I was kind of toying with the idea of giving him a refractor field generator. No, not that. Sorry. This one. Which at the start it makes him untargetable, which means he can get in range very nicely and then just unload with absolute immense critical strikes which is even better for what he's trying to do right so hmm now that i'm thinking of that that kind of means that this discipline here the refraction doesn't even make sense for me I mean, I'm not using troops that much, so this one is kind of wasted on me. Um, I, I'm i actually thinking I'm gonna go for, he, for, for this one. The Lex Mechanica. So that's that. Um, I was also thinking, now that he at least always gets a Cognition Point, that could mean we could switch out the Phosphor Blast Pistol potentially for something that costs... Hmm, do we have something that costs, like, one to shoot? I guess not, right? No, not really. Hmm. Because I was thinking getting something like the Phosphor Blaster. But then we'll make him a lot more, like, point intensive. Which is not necessarily what I want. So I think we'll, we'll just leave it at that for now. Let's see what kind of mission we're gonna go. Um, no hair attack mission right now. So I'm kind of thinking... This is kind of cool. Unit gains plus 2 damage, plus 3 movement, 10 critical chance until its next base attack. That's kind of cool. What is a base attack, though? I'm not quite sure what, what is considered to be a base attack. But this seems like a cool mission. Um, what other missions, if we look at the rewards, I mean, there's, I don't think there's much, like, direct upgrade. Although the Cenerite Pattern Volkite Blaster looks like a freaking hoot. Single target range attack, target, uh, turns into a circle area attack, oh my. Target's movement is half, this is actually really good. Oh man, yeah, but this is one of the most annoying missions. <laughs> Ah, uh, but it also gives us plus one slot for develop deployment. <laughs> I shouldn't go too hard right now because I, I screwed up the last few missions and gained a lot of uh, stuff here. So you know what? We're gonna go for this one and the Sanctus Canister. I'm sure I can use this at, um, at some capacity. So 
Yeah, let's do purification. A mass of flayed ones is gathering in the tomb of Ubshao. Lector Dogmatis Vitex urges attacking these flayed ones who will be relatively vulnerable in the open battle. Burn them, burn them all. Indeed we shall. And since they are kind of annoying, I might actually... Um, I want to take some of these guys with me. All right. The tidings are glorious, Magos. I return gladness to hear it. The flinged ones of the two of Uchao are waking in huge numbers and massing to attack. This strikes me as less than glorious. A logical conclusion is that the aliens fear us. We have hurt them enough that they are forced to strike back. In doing so, they make themselves vulnerable. It is our duty to exploit this vulnerability, engage them, and destroy them. The life of Uriah Jacobus, 8.31. When the enemy offers open battle, take it and make it his final mistake. Yeah. Mechanicus Sun Tzu said so, so let's do it. The whole lower level of the Tomb of Uxiao is swarming with flayed ones. They are bottled up there by our Skitari perimeter, but it's only a matter of time before they break out and flood the whole tomb. Then we strike before they have a chance. The enemy has presented us with an opportunity to massacre them in great numbers. Elfirian Recollections, Chapter 571. When the enemy begs for destruction, do not let him go hungry. It's what soldiers call a target-rich environment, Magos. Then let us make it a little less rich. I've sent in the team to inflict maximum casualties. I can think of nothing that would so please the Omnissiah. Indeed. All right. Oh, God, we have a lot of troops. Do we have to engage them or can we? Or do they move, perhaps? So I guess we could either go through these and have battles or go through these and have random encounters, I suppose, right? Oh, God. Now we have red glyphs. I, you know I have to click this, right? Although I'm pretty sure this is Blackstone, or this one is. I have to do it. Yeah, well, we had zero ZP at that anyway, so... <laughs> okay, we'll go here, and then here, and then here. We'll do it this way. Let's destroy some flayed ones. Well, I suppose we'll mostly battle flayed ones. Blade ones, warrior scan or destroy. Oh, there's a little platform thingy. Well, we'll try to rush at that platform then, I suppose. Let's all be at the forefront here. Ooh, there's a destroyer as well. That's uh, tragic. Um, that will gain us a cognition point, right? There's also a cognition point over there. We're gonna do like a little drive-by of each other, it seems. I'm gonna use one cognition point here. Next one is M Minarius. He's gonna gain one cognition point anyway. So I'm wondering if I should just use um, this cognition point right now. I'm not quite sure. Well, the thing is, I don't know what I would use it for, to be honest. But, you know, I cannot really use it, so. Oh, hi. That's unfortunate, but you don't do damage, so. <laughs> Get wrecked, Sonny Jim. Okay, cool. We can make it onto here without any cognition points used. Reveal stats. 14. We can... Well, 13, that is. Um, Canticle? Canticle or... Hmm. 
The thing is, if it does, if we don't destroy it, it's gonna really be annoying. So I might just be tempted to use the canticle. Well, you know what? This uh, the iron soul might be enough. Plus four. That's twelve. Oh, uh, that's not sure though. That doesn't make it a sure kill. No, we're gonna go with this. I'm sorry, we have to. I I hate destroyers. They will fire twice upon me if I don't kill it. So, killing it, we shall. There we go. Good. And then, uh, you'll take some damage too, mate. Oh, I wonder if we could have just blasted it with both? Well, now we have Machine Spirit. No, I don't think we would have been enough. Well, we've dealt with it, which is good, you know. Plus one Cognition, excellent. You know what that means? That means we're gonna go into melee combat. All right. Um, you know what? We're farming cognition on him. Always abuse it if you can. Slap. Excellent. Cognition to max. Um, nothing else really needed here, so... He might blast us. Oh, no. Too far away. Good. Boop. Boop. Goodbye. <laughs> I might just give him one blast over here so he doesn't wake up again. Because otherwise it might be awkward. Yeah, let's be... Yeah, well, he will wake up at the end of this turn if I don't blast him, actually. Okay, let's give him the blast. Oh, wow, really? Well, don't mind if I do. We're gaining all the cognition. And we're gonna scan. Neat. Uh, nothing else to do here. Okay, uh, you are toast. And since we have so much cognition, we might as well deal with him. And then just scan. And then we probably will have to kill all enemies. If I had to guess. Nope. Okay, apparently not. Well, fine with me then. No worries. Okay, well, we used one canticle, but we healed. Oh, awakening reduced by four. Nice. That's actually neat. Um, we go over here. Let's see, the chamber ahead is horrific. Is a horrific sight. Dozens of severed hands are impaled on spikes on the walls. Reaching out as if blindly groping for someone to grab. It's impossible to tell at a glance where the hands have come from. Burn. <laughs> Minus four, plus three. But three CP, which we already had at max. Oh well. Let's go into this chamber. And see, is this just gonna be kill flayed ones? Yes, kill all the flayed ones. Okay, which one is the first to... Is it really this dude over here? That's kind of annoying. Oh no, it's this one over there. Um, I wanna, I wanna just deploy one of these dudes. I wanna see them. They look cool. They look really cool. I just wanna... Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, it's you. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah. Gonna blast him, I suppose? Yeah, sure. He's dead. Cool. I guess then we can move forward. Should be easy enough right now. 
Then we blast. And then I have the feeling I just want to go into melee here. Minus one cognition, but then plus two. And then slap with the big stick. Good. Another one down. And then I'm not gonna stab him some more because I don't wanna, you know, uh, lose more damage. Or more health, that is, rather. So that's good. He's gonna come at me. That's fine, I can deal with it. Only one damage. Alright, then I think he's gonna... Let's see what he's gonna do. Let me just analyze this Necron Warrior real quick. Oh, he is weak. He is absolutely disgustingly weak. Let's do that. Energia Enhancer. A Blastificate. Wow, are we really just annihilating these people? Yeah, we are. <laughs> we get that. Good. Guess who's here? It's Mr. Big Axe coming to bring you doom. Yes. Well, that was quick. Almost boringly so. Hmm. Oh well, I'm not gonna come. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. Necron artifact resembling a large globe inscribed with glowing runes lies half buried in a mass of decaying trash in the chamber. Destroy the artifact. Ignore the artifact. Yeah, it looks quite dangerous. Um. Disregard. Oh, that was good. That was a good decision, I think. All right. I don't think we can keep it at one. Unfortunately, yeah, there we go. But we might keep it at two, you know? Uh, this? Oh, yeah, Blackstone. Cool. <laughs> Pressing random glyphs. And the next battle. Yes? Yes. Alrighty. Scan or destroy? Well, don't mind if we do. That's the same battlefield form as before. But, uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of Necrons pouring in in a second here. It's gonna, the, the objective is like gonna change to survive or some crap. Here they come. Here they come. Hello, my friends. How are you these days? Survive four rounds. Hmm, can do. One down. I'm gonna take this guy on. Can kill two in one turn. Acha! Excellent. Then we'll do that. And we'll self heal with our Megadendrite. Very good. Come on, Flayed Ones, bring it! Try me! They are so focused here. Laser focused, I might say. Alrighty. I guess it's your funeral then. Kaboom! We can stab him to death, that's lovely.
And then we'll definitely stab him again. I wonder if we can end it like this turn. That would be fantastic. I don't think we can, but we can get close. We can kill one more, and then there's one, gonna be one left. But yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna activate you. I'm actually also gonna activate you, otherwise, this next cognition point grab is not gonna do much. There we go. Aha! Uh, yeah, that's that's good. Some people are gonna. Yeah, okay, there's gonna, gonna be a few new ones. Let's deploy some troops. Again, I want to deploy a Rust Stalker here. Alright. Eat it! We can easily continue blasting. Ooh, that didn't kill him quite. Okay. Fair enough. I'm gonna gamble and say he has one health left. Let's see if I'm right. <laughs> Got him. Because that, can, that means if I hit this, I'm gonna hit a whole bunch of people. There we go. That's lovely. <laughs> that was really cool, actually. That was a good move. Lovely. And we're gonna get that. And since this is the last mission, I'm gonna make sure I'm healed up properly. Just in case. Okay. Where are you gonna go, sir? Oh my. Here you are. Machine spirit charge, that means you're doomed. Uh, we can kill the last dude, I think. Which kind of means that uh, we, we might... Yeah, we, we finish it early. Awesome. No damage on anybody. Perfect. That's, the, that's after last time's absolute catastrophe. That's what I needed right now. Finally, the last of the flayed ones in the area falls, temporarily reducing their activity population, active population in the tomb of Ubjao. There remains littered tomb, leaving chunks of bloody flesh and shreds of skin behind as they teleported away. With luck, and then the will of the Omnicide, the Skitari will be able to keep the numbers of the flayed ones at a manageable level. A great blow has been struck against the enemies here, Magos. The flayed ones are among the most profane of all the Necron constructs. Hagiography of Thor, 14.91. He who so doubt is as blameful as he who sheds blood. The tomb of Ushao should be much safer for our troops to explore. And I admit I return a sense of gratification from my emotional centers. To see so many of the enemy destroyed. Take no shame in exulting at the destruction of the Xenos. Though killing the alien is our solemn duty, that does not mean we cannot let it buy you up our spirits when it's accomplished. Colloquialisms Minor, Chapter 51. It's not work if you enjoy it. <laughs> he has a good quote for everything now, doesn't he? Oh, that was that was a refreshingly easy mission for once. That means next time we're gonna dive into some more hardcore missions, I would say. All right, burn all the played ones. We get the Sanctus canister, which again I might wanna put that on somebody. Okay, the next attack will break six energy armor. That's pretty good. 
Okay, let's see. Does he have a new mission now? No, he only has the logic of sacrifice now. Which means I have the feeling next time I either gonna go for the um, the power axe here, or was there another mission? Or maybe this one. Maybe this one because uh, gain one more slot for deployment might be cool. I'm not quite ready to attack Mr. Ubjao himself. Because I have the feeling maybe we can learn some more about him. Perhaps. Yeah, this actually brings us to the tomb of Ubjao, so maybe we'll learn some more about him there. But yeah, um, let's upgrade uh, Leonardus. Yeah, we'll have enough for that. And let's see, so he will gain the body part and then Yoff's Fabrication, which is just a dis uh, restoratory HP on himself. Um, cooldown free. I mean, it's more restore health. And then what's the last thing? The Ultimatum Resistor. Once per battle, revive the Tech Priest at the beginning of its next... Oh, okay. Now, the thing is, do I really want that? Or do I want something else here? For example, Cognition Freedom would be cool on him because he has actually some pretty nasty weaponry. And I might give him some more nasty weaponry if we give him Cognition Freedom. You know what I mean? I got Yeah, let's do that. Let's give him that, Cognition Freedom. And now, again, that Arc Pistol that hasn't really... I've, I've not been in love with it at the moment. I mean, that last shot where we took out three people was nice, but it's not that much damage. Um, what else could we give him? I, I would either, I'm kind of want to give him the Cognis Flamer or the Phosphorus Blast. Sprays fire in a cone. Burns, deals two damage over three turns. Because then it's also interesting, then he also gains some physical damage plus, well, to be fair, it would actually be better if he has some energy damage. All kind blaster, gamma pistol, heavy arc rifle, single target ranged attack. It's actually the same thing as he has now, but bigger. And then the culverine, which is just the um, straight attack. Actually, the serpenta might be good because it also reveals stats. Which, since I use my uh, servitors mostly for. Um, for my server skulls, mostly for uh, getting, um, you know, um, cognition points. That might be a good thing. It actually kind of looks like an old school. Is that like a revolver looking thing there? It looks like a revolver chamber. Kind of cool. Okay. Um, and I also wanted to see if maybe. Um, maybe somebody can really profit from the Sanctus canister because to me well this one is plus three physical damage right but the energia thing is only plus two this one costs less in theory and also adds movement it has the same cooldown of course for him they are also only one cognition but it, these almost feel better. But I'm not sure the base attack, what that base attack means. Also, well, to be fair, these ones are actually active for the whole round. Hmm. Do I want to take... Had we ever had a, a situation where he needed to use both of his Coratio Claws? He has so many heals. He has the Coratia Claws, he has the Prayer, he has the, the Canticle. I have the feeling I'm gonna pluck one of these and give him the Sanctus Canister. You know, because it just gives him a little bit more punch and also a bit more movement to catch up. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Also a bit more crit, which he also kind of gets anyway. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea, I feel. 
Good. We're one blackstone short of a next level up, actually. But, yeah, we can deal with that. Okay, so next time we're either going to get ourselves... Well, most likely we're going to get ourselves a better axe. Which is going to be great. There's two people who can use this. Uh, we have some destroyers, Praetorians, Immortals, Inflayed Ones. No Lich Guard, though. So that's, you know, upside and stuff. Um, but I think we're getting closer to engaging Lord Objao. And I have the feeling if we're gonna um, get a little bit more Awakening, we're gonna unlock the next tomb. Which, you know, not sure if that's a good idea, but we'll see. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and uh, take care.